Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Against the Storm. Today, we're gonna be trying to win a settlement, opening no more than one dangerous or, fit or forbidden glade. It is gonna be kind of extremely difficult, but I am just gonna go on Pioneer difficulty to make it as easy as possible. Actually, wait, how many, uh... But that only give me uh that only give me two. No, I'll I'll keep it on veteran, I guess. I'm gonna try once again to get like an extremely rapid settlement done. So I think that would be cool. Uh let's see, I'm gonna have beavers. Maybe I should make sure I get humans and then get the ale delivery line so I can get need for leisure fulfilled. Easily. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then what? We can open as many tiny glades as we want. I guess I'll get some wood and some meat and some roots just for like a fast expand basically. I mean, we're already gonna get plenty of roots. Well, the alternative would be like a cornerstone reroll, which wouldn't be too bad. Uh, this place will be called Pump and Dump for the same reason that the other one was quick and dirty. It's a promise that we will try to win before <laughs> year four. I'm gonna be fucking my chances to get a super, or get the uh, ending, get to the cobalt seal if I am not careful. We've got harpies as our third race, which isn't too terrible. We have 12 people. I think that's more than last time. And it is extremely good. I'm going to go for three woodcutters. Just to fast expand as much as possible. And we're just going to be hitting up all the tiny glades in the universe. We're going to need... Tool production would let us... Ship a bunch of crates out. So I think I will go for that. Of all these... I mean, pie would be pretty nice... We don't have anything for the pie. I think I will reroll. Tinctuary would be nice. It will let us build wine if we're going for wine. I don't know if we're going for wine, though. I guess I'll get a brickyard. And then... Uh, for the third one, I think coats is the easiest. Like, super duper, yes. Because that's going to make everyone happy. And I can let time advance. I mean, I might as well build the Carpenter sooner rather than later. Alright, avoid glades except for marked. Avoid glades except for marked. And avoid glades except for marked. Sweet. We're just going to expand our space. I will build the Carpenter over here. That'll let me build the planks for all the other complex buildings. And the idea is that I'm just going to dig so greedily. Hold up. Uh, every time you open or send bin caches, you gain plus one to gold resolve. Or ten skewers for every ten pickled goods. Well, let's see. Does anyone like skewers? Nobody likes skewers. That's kind of lame. Uh, so this is meh. Uh, Prosperous Archaeology, I don't know if I'm going to have the opportunity to open like six of these things, so I think that's kind of mediocre. Um, every newcomer group has two more villagers, that's probably good. I think we can reroll. Clay per minute wouldn't be bad. Peasant Supplies is also not bad. Clay delivery line will let me make pots for free. In case I want to go for pottery build. Nah, I'm rerolling this. Fuck it. Roots per minute is nice. Woodcutting is easier. I guess I'll get the woodcutting. Fuck me, dude. It's just not a good... Not a good first set of stuff. I can pop into this tiny glade. Why not? We got orders. I might as well. Let's see. Natural dye or rich harvest. Uh, 
I'm not really going for a farming build, but I could go for a farming build, and that seems really easy to do. I mean, the other one is easier. Rain protection is uh, Omega, yes. Start your engines is easy, but trading post is also easy. Um, I think I'll pick start your engines because that'll allow me some semblance of control over like getting more people into the good old settlement. I think I need to build some houses right now. So three, six, nine, twelve. Six plus four plus two is twelve. Perfect. We've got our first tiny cache. It's a pretty decent one. But it's also very sendable. I can scooch this over here a little bit. Build a little bit more road. We're going to want to hit up basically every single tiny glade in the uh, map. Just to ironically disturb the forest much more than I would ordinarily do. And I think our one big glade is going to be like... Probably a Forbidden Glade if I can help it. Because why not? Alright, it is storm season one. Looks like everyone is still doing fine. I'm going to build my cooperage now. And, uh, the brickyard. Do I have a clay delivery line? No, I rejected it. What foolishness. Uh, we're gonna definitely want, I guess, a crude workstation. And a makeshift post and a field kitchen. This would be my, like, early... Wait, hold up. This is a crude workstation. I can, uh, just dismantle that. Meant to get a makeshift post. Um, I'll get the one objective thing done as well. Uh, of all these, I mean, pie is cool. Pie pleases two people, so I guess I'll get the pie. And we've got our first cornerstone, or our second cornerstone, I should say. Um... Economic migration, I guess, will be the way to go. Got more people. I'll pick the more beavers, because we're going to want two beavers just uh, making shit in the uh, the old thingy. The cooperage. Basically, just making coats so that everyone keeps their happiness. We're definitely in dire need for like recipes and shit, so we are. In an uncomfortable situation right now, I'll say. There's a geyser so we can make porridge, which would make the humans happy, but we don't have any, uh... Un. Okay, well, we can, we can start making beef jerky, I guess, to make the harpies happy. I should have totally gone for the clay delivery line. What the hell was I thinking? Oh, well. Uh, do I want to... I would... I maybe want to, uh, pull off one of these, uh, woodcutteries. Just to get them working in the kitchen. We do have orders. The orders might be doable. 26 human happiness? Sure. And deliver meat and the bugs to get jerky production. Unfortunately, you can't do that. Into the wilds we can do, though. Thank goodness. In fact, we're well on our way. We've got welcome the new people. I definitely will do that. I am going to temporarily deactivate these guys in order to do that. Or to get them sooner rather than later. And I can get a human cooking beef jerky. Once these dudes are added, we can just like put them back in the ship. Uh, we can make packs of provisions out of the meat. And that'll be nice. That'll let us get economic migration started up. Alright, we've got an obelisk. We'll eventually be able to do that. Just due to the uh, special trees. 
Uh, these guys can just like scooch over here. These guys can scooch back here. Need to chop into two more blades. It doesn't have to happen right now though. Guess I'll get PAX provisions started up so that I can get the economic migration. I can just let even more time advance. Oh, we're also gonna want some housing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have plenty for harpy housing. Let's see, there's four harpies. No, there's three harpies, so two harpy houses will be good enough. So one and two, and we're gonna want a fence back here to increase global resolve by three. Would be nice to get resolve points, after all. So that might be just how we're going to have to get our points. So there's not going to be a forest left over once we're done. There will be nothing to disturb. Alright, beaver resolve is a little bit low. Read literally zero. Uh, but I can just uh, pull the human dudes off. Nope, never mind, they're fine. Some coats were made. Yep, and now with the thingy done, that'll be that sorted. These guys are getting some wonderful super trees done as well. That's another year under the belt. We've got another cornerstone. Um, I guess I'll get friendly relations. We're, we're sort of already like trade specializing a bit. Of these, I'll pick the... I guess the more humans, because humans tend to like to work in food-related industries. We can get another human working in this little cookery, the field kitchen. And I'm going to want another, I think another, you know what, it can just be a human working in the cooperage as well. So we can get more, more stuff done. Wait a second. I'm dumb. We can get uh, barrels from this. That'll let us build the axe pickled goods. What can I pickle in this settlement though? Eggs, I guess. Yeah, you know, that will work. That'll work out just fine. Then we just need to find eggs somewhere. Shouldn't be too, too hard. Just need to pop into more tiny glades. Yep, there's a whole like quadrant over there that we can get. Uh, level two hearth for more plank production. Definitely, that is a doable objective. Trail bait lazing is amazing. So now we just need four thorny reds should be easy and then a uh, park boom that'll be a settlement level two which will complete that objective and give us another recipe oh we can start uh building tools as well can't believe i didn't think about that it's like half the reason that i'm building the way i'm building because that way we'll be able to sh ship the uh crates which will let me get wrapped that way um i'll get the i'll get the small farm so i can get the pax crops i think that'll be fine hopefully we'll find some fertile ground somewhere it's hard to imagine we will not all right we've got some coal no big deal not really what i'm looking for but even still Do I have idle workers? I have two idle workers. We can probably build like another house. Guess I'll build a big shelter. Why not? Alright, resolve is low, but importantly, not so low that we can't do our stuff. There's another welcome the new people, but we don't have enough stuff for it. I should be getting a trading post so I can actually trade. A little bit of an oversight considering the circumstances. Do I have the uh, 
incense? No. I will soon. Well, whatever. I guess I'll get a brewery. I mean, we should already have infinite ale, right? Hello. None that I can sell, though. Obsidian sickles, I guess I'll get that. Because why not? The ranch, I don't really care for. You have two trade routes, but first things first. Mmm, 15 amber every time I accept newcomers. Uh, I could probably... Game the system. And just, uh... I don't know, buy some pies. In fact, I'm gonna want to... Just buy more pies from Zord, because why not? That'll make everyone happy, and then I can get the Stormwalker tax. Now I've got 15 more Amber. I'll pick the Aggie Wigs. With this 15 Amber, I could... Hmm... I could buy some pottery, I guess, or I could buy some... I could buy roots to invite the new people, I guess. Or I could try eking out, like, a squeaky, sneaky, like, happiness point. I could get a bunch of planks so that I could get a bunch of beaver houses, so they would get plus three resolved that way. Yeah, you know what? I think I buy a bunch of planks. Buy all his planks. Get the rest of his pie. That will make the harpies happy and the humans happy. Uh, I'll just say 15 amber here and I'll buy some porridge. And that'll be that trade. Um, this trade's pretty good from quick and dirty. That'll give me increased rep with them. Can't really do any of the other ones. It's a shame there isn't an ale one. Oh well. Might as well get this cash sent off right now. He wouldn't happen to have incense, right? No, he does not. Sag. I can't use ale, can I? No. Tea or scrolls would, though. He does not have either of those. I see how it is. Uh, I guess this person could use the bugs for the packs of the provisions, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else from Zorg. The old Zorg man. I'll pop another glade so I can get trailblazing done. In like a timely-ish manner. Oh yeah, I bought 10 million planks for a reason. Boom. Beaver housing for everyone. Oh, four parts. That's so nice, but... Reputation will be nicer. And then over here we've got a drill and a location for a farm. Which uh, I can't fit quite yet, but I will be able to fit once I hit these guys. We're not going to be farming this year anyways. Let's see, how much rep are we getting per minute? A very small amount, but it's going to be enough. I think. To get the next point. Oh, beavers have a need for leisure too? Dude, we're just sitting on like what's gonna be like 10 bajillion red points. We just need a tavern. I think I can re roll this to get a tavern. <clears throat> okay, well, a weaver. Uh, Weaver's a pretty good building. It'll let me get more fabrics. Dude, I'm getting fucked on the incense RNG. I will say that much as well. Alright, just one more tiny glade. We have three trade routes now. Let's see, Quick and Dirty's got some routes. Ale. Oh, this is a very good trade. The Shy Shroom will be leveled up, and that's gonna make economic migration a little bit better. We have an order. 
need for luxury fulfilled, I will absolutely pick that. Uh, because I can... Oh no, I got my wires crossed. I should not have picked that. Well, whatever. Look, we're okay. <laughs> we're gonna be fine. We'll buy some wine from Zorg or something. Then we'll be able to get that shit done. It'd be nice to get the humans happy too. I don't think it's possible given the circumstances. Once we get... If we can get flower production, then we'll be able to have the small farm sort of setup work out for us and we'll be able to get meat pies done with our pie place. Alright, that's trailblazing complete. Harpy's resolve is low. Let's see, acid rain. Interesting. It says recipes producing building materials. I don't know if that means like the pack of building materials or just all building materials. I have a kind of feeling it's former rather than latter. I could burn some wood just to keep that off. Why not? I literally have like infinite wood production going. Might as well set up the human farmers and put this woodcutter over here. Clear out in this direction. You have 16 tools, so we might as well send some tools to the Citadel. Might as well get the humans and the beavers and etc. etc. Trailblazing done. Travel costs and trade routes is reduced. That would be pretty nice. Trade routes are worth more amber, that would also be nice. I think I'll do Titan Belt, because in theory, yeah, that can set you to literally zero. Uh, which is nice. So this is... Oh, it just stays at zero. Alright, amazing. Yeah, that makes the route so much more worth. Um, I can reroll this. I need a tavern, dude. Uh, kill me! Okay, well, um, guess I'll get a lumber mill. Damnable game. That's so rude. Hmm, I have a bunch of idle workers. I could maybe, I don't know, have another woodcutter. Bliss Greybone. Let's see, more pickle good production, yes. Tax provisions when you rediscover Glade. A little bit late for that. I think, I don't know how many more blades we can discover. I can buy a bunch of wine from her, so I might as well do that. I could buy some incense from her as well. So I might as well do that. That'll let me get the obelisk done. I can buy bricks from her. So I'm gonna do that as well. It's a shame we don't have any buildings. She doesn't have... no. Uh, I guess I'll get the gathering tools. It's just free money. That we'll make use of at some point. Might as well get this offering shit done as well. I mean, actually hold up. Tearing down for 30 meat and 30 pots that I can use to pickle goods, I think that would be better. I could use the shit I bought just for more trade roundage. You know, that wouldn't be bad. Swordfish is at zero. <laughs> That's a terrible, terrible one. Mm -mm. No, 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 I need, I need all these things. Oh, oh. I think we need to pop our, our one forbidden glade just to change the conditions of the test. We have one glade, we can do it. This will be perfect. Uh, maybe I should buy training gear from her, just in case we need to, like, bite off something in this glade. I think that'll be acceptable. May or may not need to build, like, a blight post or something, but that can happen on the fly. Actually, I may as well get it started right now. Why not? And I can build a camp to collect these bugs, because why not? 
We've got our for one and only Forbidden Glade. We can fix it. We have the technology. I guess I'll use my Wildfire Essence to do so. Yes. That'll make the crown happy. Inch me closer to victory. And we really just need to focus on shipping all these crates out, and I think we'll be golden. Let's see, we have... we should... yeah, we just need to step up production, I guess. Beavers are gonna have to make a long-ass trek to just put any of this shit in. Well, it's not like we're using up our barrels anyways, because we have no pickleable goods to begin with. Can't make pickled gut, uh, bugs, unfortunately. Oh, we'll start to be able to make pickled vegetables. That's nice, actually. We have three trade routes. Um... 3 plus 1.5 is 4.5, so this is like barely worth, and it's in quick and dirty. How much do I need? I need 10 amber. I wouldn't be able to get it from that recipe. I don't want to give up my stone. Don't really want to give up my pottery to swordfish. Guess I'll give up a little bit of it. Sure, whatever. This is not too bad. This is my next newcomers. They're almost here. Right before the storm. Perfect. Uh, I guess I'll build a uh, big shelter. Because uh, why not? I'll pick the more pickleable goods as well. We have our final two orders. Produce a bunch of wood and deliver packs provisions within 10 minutes and 30 seconds to get leisure. That's a fucking giga, yes. And then I'll pick the luxuries one, I guess. Not a good trade, but whatever. Mmm, this is a really good trade. Yeah, fuck it. I can just buy more wine. This is a mediocre trade. 2.27 for 3. And this is pretty decent trade. Boom. Uh, they are fixing this shit, right? Okay, they're almost there. Everyone's resolve is a little bit low. Uh, that is whatever. I care not. We have nine minutes, so we should have more than enough time. We can just burn some wood. Once everyone's resolve gets fucked. Have I been burning wood since last storm season? Oh my god. That's pretty insane. Well, you know, when in hell, keep going. Keep digging. There we go. We have another cornerstone. I'll pick crowded houses. Because that will make the uh, housing easier to build. We need to produce the more wood. Uh, this needs to be void glades except for marked. There's no universe where we don't get enough wood from these fucking things. That would be insane. That being said, I think I'm going to build another, another woodcutter scamp just in case. You know travel time is a consideration and all that. Uh, this woodcutter's camp can go over here. Alright, you are avoid glades except for marked. The laser building is going to give us everything we need, so like we just have to turbo prioritize it. Hello. Zorg, you lovely son of a bitch. Planting crops is faster, yes. You, sir, are going to give us a bunch of happiness in the short term, because why not? It's not like I'm using the amber for anything else. And it's not like I care about any of these other recipes, really. So, biscuits, boom. Flour, so I can produce more shit. I could buy all the food things from him, actually. 
just more stuff to pickle. Stuff like that. Uh, I definitely want to just buy some porridge. I'll buy some eggs so that I can pickle the eggs. Boom. That'll make everyone really happy. I need more people. Need more idle workers. Ooh, 2 plus 0.5 for 5. That is the type of trade that I can get behind. Swordfish. A uh, little bit of wheat. Sure. Beef jerky for 3. Sure. So that'll just give me more amber with which I can buy more shit. Um, of all these, I guess I'll get the porridge production capabilities. And I might as well just build a geyser pump. We should have enough uh, holy fire for like one thingy. Which would be cool. Uh, I think we need to buy oil from Zorg so that we can make the woodcutters move even faster. I'll just use the opportunity to buy more uh, vegetables too. Because I can't help but notice that we're not, like, getting our shit done in time. I think I need, like, a worker or a few working in the, uh, the good old uh, warehouse as well. So I can just slurp wood out of these fucking th things. Out of these woodcutters camps, basically. I think that'll be good. I'll just keep things moving as efficiently as possible. Okay, we're almost... We're almost complete with this objective. Then we're just gonna be able to, uh... Do the stuff. Give me the eight more wood. There we go. Ravenous Axe is completed. Just barely. Forum. Construct. You can go back here. Why not? We can stop burning the oil, because why not? Or, there's no reason to burn oil anymore. We have the materials. Might as well just keep the uh, spice flowing. Once more. Uh, we can make the brick oven, by the way, because we could probably produce pies right now. Alright. Three humans. Boom. 15% chance of double yield so we can get scrolls, which we can build in the lumber mill. Which we can build right now. Sure. Obviously... We're going to start disabling woodcutters because we built a huge excess of them for a very specific reason, and now that reason has been solved. Uh, and we could probably burn a little bit of wood. There we go. And the harpies are a little bit unhappy. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. Except, of course, uh... I guess build another thingy, another cooperage, so we can get more uh, stuff. I mean, harpies uh, appreciate the need for education, right? So I can get the scrolls manufacturing. Can I build a pigment? No, but I can build wine at the distillery. Might as well make some lovely pies as well make everyone a little bit happier. Definitely, I'll pick the easy, huge amount of money from the shri shroom. Harpies are about to leave. All right, we have another final cornerstone. I guess I'll do more goods from the farm, because why not? And I'll just get some more coat makers. That should be good. And I might as well make the weaver on again. Oh, beavers like education, leisure, and luxury. That's interesting. We have some more newcomers. I'll pick the more beavers. Oh, this is really an uphill battle without the dangerous glades, I will say. Uh, we have 53 tools. I could probably send... Yeah, 
all these packs of the Citadel. So I'm just going to get that done right now. Oh, there's another tiny cache. Hopefully we have enough tools for all of this. That's going to be like two more points of rep. Plus the rep per minute from this resolve. We should be pretty, pretty good. I'll get a brewery as well. Why not? I have Ziadani Feathermeister. I'll get a point of rep. I'll get some more uh, porch production. I'll leverage my massive amount of money to get some raw food and some complete food. So I think that'll be good. Oh, we could get some herbs too. That'll let me build some packs of provisions and shit too. There we go. I'll let the meat pies, or the pies, get produced as well. Um, okay, the guild house is pretty nice. It is a luxury building. You can just build it up here. Don't have any extra workers. Uh, but that's because they're all cash maxin uh, we definitely could afford to sell some packs of provisions as well for I don't know some tools some vegetables we have some trade routes quick and dirty is once again proven to be a valuable trading partner Yeah, I'll sell a little bit of porridge as well to swordfish. Why not? I guess I can deactivate this bug place just to have some porridge manufacturing going. Oh, humans are happy. That provides a bunch of shit. Some pies, which will make everyone even more happy. Now we're building nearly a whole rep point per minute. Woodcutter's Camp has no trees nearby. Welcome to over here. And I think we're done on year seven, which is highly not great. But we did, we were uh, paired with unfortunate circumstances. And we are going to get tools every single settlement. The mourners, thank you for your sympathy. We still have 44 years for the Blightstorm. Oh, what is this? Pay 10 artifacts. A chosen world map modifier will appear. Or sell 10 artifacts, get stuff. The name of Sothor immediately jumps to the mind, yet this isn't him. Another ancient one, perhaps? The man smiles gently, revealing a robe disturbingly. Sharp teeth. Yeah, I'll ask for help. A world map modifier will appear. Oh, okay. So, no, we don't want that. I mean, I could sell artifacts, I guess, for food. Why not? Well, all things considered, that's not too bad, I guess. So, we'll be able to get royal resupplies from these two duders on our way down. I kind of think we're going to need like a super caravan thing just to like <laughs> actually mo mobilize to get to the seal in time. So I think we're kind of uh, risking a little bit too much of the biscuit. It's not like there's a cobalt seal up here I can get. Well, that's fine. I guess I'll get an upgrade or two while I'm sort of at the end of this episode. Because why not? I think it would be cool. Let's see. So this last one would let us get Fox House upgrade. I don't know what the house upgrades do, but the Fox Houses are the like least likely one for upgrading. We get less patience. I don't really care. 
I could get a small boost for double yields. Hmm. Wine delivery line would be pretty nice. Um, of all these, I think I'll just go for the uh, chance reduced double yield. And I guess... Uh, the production speed. So I think that will be useful. Yeah, another quickish settlement. I, I have confidence that we'll be able to recover from this minor setback. And as we go like along here, we're going to be exposed to so many possible like world events that we might be able to just like pick up steam just to completely smite this thing, which I think will be great. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time for more Against the Storm. Goodbye.